Okay. Okay, hi everyone. Um, I'm excited to be coming back with another video. <laughs> Stables, I'm glad to be back making another video. Things have been really dark. I feel like this year, somebody made a joke actually. It's like somebody forgot to lunge 2020. There's been so many sad things that have happened and in light of what's happened, I've been holding back from posting. You guys are gonna be seeing this a few days after I've actually filmed it. Um, because I think now there is a there needs to be a massive space for the issues that are coming up. Um, and I don't feel like posting my life or saddle cloths or things like that. I think there's bigger issues at hand. So whenever this will go out, um, we'll go out. I'm not sure when that will be. But today I wanted to try something a little bit different with Emporio. He's been doing really good in his training. And I thought it would be time to challenge him and take him to the next step and see how he is on neck rope. Now, Emporio is quite responsive, but he is on the hotter side. He's a stallion. He's only five years old. So this is going to be quite a big challenge and I think it will also showcase a lot of how my training has been going. So we will see how that goes. I'm going to take you guys with me and in the meantime we can have a bit of a catch up on how Emporio is doing and, and have a bit of an update on him as well. So let's go grab him. What's wrong? Look at this hairstyle. What in the... Hello. <laughs> is he dirty? Oh, he's not too bad. No. He's just uh, got a bit of a crazy hairstyle, but we'll sort that out. We'll make sure he's nice and presentable. Hi! What the hell is going on here? Also, for you guys who are wondering, Dominique, who is um, my friend and also our photographer, Equishanish is her business name. Um, she's filming currently. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... For God's sake. All right, wait. <laughs> Today is really like real life versus... <laughs> Today is like as dirty as anything can ever get. Yep. We were just gonna do like a little photo shoot with Sureno and um, and riding him bareback, but he was covered in mud, so he's currently drying in the walker. He looks amazing. Obese. <laughs> no. No, he looks good. amazing. I'm happy with how he's looking. Chubby all the right places. Okay, so I'm just editing the video and I want to make a very, very quick disclaimer. Now, I'm there's going to be a bit of a hard cut here, so I just should have said before, but I'm going to say it now. Um, I'm by no means a professional or an expert. I'm kind of along this journey learning uh, the baby steps of Piaf, which is what I'm trying to teach Emporio. I have already was able to teach it to Chase. Now I'm trying to apply the knowledge I know. Um, so if you're looking at this, this is not a how-to video. This is not so you guys can do it yourself. This is just to explain what I'm trying to achieve. Um, so if you do want to learn from somebody, go to a professional. This is not the place to do it. Um, but either way, I hope you guys enjoy and you can be part of this process as Emporio is starting to play with some of these moves uh, and he's doing really well so i hope you guys enjoy but as i said do not take my words as how it should be done this is just what i've learned so far and it could be that i'm wrong it could be that i'm right I'm not saying anything but but yeah so if you want to learn this is not a place to learn it's just a place to enjoy have a laugh and not take things too seriously so Emporio's all ready and what I've been starting to do at the beginning of every ride is I have a little bit of a play with like a few little steps in the starting to think towards the Piaf and I'm not really looking for anything other than the hind leg starting to just step under and forward a little bit. I do need to use the side rein just so he keeps a bit of connection and, uh, and understands what to do with his back a little bit. Let's start, I'm gonna put him on the wall and we'll see how he's like. Just reminding him to pick up his head. Yeah. So just reminding him that that's the kind of pattern and rhythm I'm after. Yeah. Good boy. So we're just starting with like little steps like that. Like I don't want anything too crazy. He's only five. It's just about starting to get the idea. Ah, good boy. So that's the kind of like little swing I'm looking for. And as long as it like comes up and yeah, starts to come under a little bit, that's kind of what I'm off. Yeah. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah. If I don't kind of 
sit on it too much and then I try the other side and the other side it's so funny because horses struggle with you they're always so used to us walking on the left and so as soon as you have to walk on the right they're just not really comfortable with it they're just not used to it which is honestly if you can walk with your horse both sides because it doesn't matter it's an old rule only walking on the left and if you can kind of get your horse used to it both ways which I should have done a little bit more of it will help put his body on this side yeah That was good. Yeah. Good. Good boy. Yeah. Okay, so I thought it would be nice to do a little voice over here for what I'm doing to kind of prepare myself for the neck rope experience we're about to have. So I'm just kind of warming it up as normal. I'm not asking for a big chart or anything too crazy. I'm just wanting to focus on doing some transitions inside the, uh, the pace. So inside the trot, I'm sending him forwards and bringing him back and I'm starting to make him more aware um, of myself as a rider on top of him, of the cues I'm giving him with my seat, uh, my verbal cues, I'm talking to him, I'm moving him sideways, I'm just making sure that I'm keeping him attentive to me, I'm not, I'm not just uh, letting his mind wander and drift somewhere else, I'm, I'm strictly keeping it, keeping him to me. Um, and with the canter, I wanted to think a lot more backwards rather than forwards, I wanted him to think more collected and staying with me, I'm really emphasizing my seat um, and and sitting back and letting him kind of uh, collect into that um, and just taking a chill just talking to him and kind of keeping it similar but just emphasizing everything I do with my seat um, here I'm asking for a little bit of a shoulder in and now I'm asking him to come back with my seat I'm here with the neck rope <laughs> and yes, I'm gonna put it on huh yes it's here so we're just shortening it a bit now so that my hands don't go too high. Um, this is an Atlanta neck rope. But I'm... <laughs> this is an Atlanta neck rope. Um, Available but on www.tsadren.com <laughs> Got your promo in there. Um, and so we're just gonna... The hardest thing for them always is the turning. Um, and so then you can kind of bring it up the neck and then start to help them a little bit more here. So we're gonna see how it goes. And I always like to have the leather on their side because I feel like it's more direct. That's just my brain though. Really? Yeah, you don't? You prefer to have because hold the leather? I like them to hold it like... No, I prefer the other way myself. But um, that's the good thing, you can pick. Yeah, but if you just take a step back for a second. Yes, okay. I just want to see how he reacts to some pressure in the... Ooh, ooh. Yeah, good boy. So that's good. That's a good sign already because Chase would pull through that. And if I ask back... Let's see. Back. Yeah. Yeah. He's a bit confused about where the head needs to go. Back. Yeah. And one good thing Yasser always says about the neck rope is you don't need to have contact. Like when they're just doing the right thing, it's no contact. Which is different, of course, to when you ride. Because even when doing the right thing, you kind of keep a little bit of contact. So that's something I need to force myself to do more. And I kind of learned more with Chase and doing neck rope with him. So I need to try and remember it for him as well. But I'm going to. Just do what I usually do and start to use this a little and see how that feels and then <laughs> if it feels comfortable we can Where take it off. <laughs> He's like no contact needed. <laughs> That's also something Chase did at the beginning as well. Huh? Yeah. Something Chase did at the beginning as well is he would just throw his head down and stretch. But then that's really hard on neck rope because the pressure that's goes on the neck rope. Well let's see. I'm just gonna walk with him first and Try and just use the neck rope and see how he reacts. He's getting it quite quick. Yeah. He's a lot softer already. But I will always think he's quick in everything. Yeah. With understanding and. It's good, no? Yeah, I can be quite soft, which is good. Nobody's taking any man now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just go to the and see how he is there. Certainly walks in. He looks really good. Yeah. 
Okay, if he feels good, let's try turning. But turning with him is always kind of easy, so I don't I see that as being. He has super chills. Oh. Ik denk alleen dadelijk als ik moet uh, foto's maken. Change direction. Listening to the monster. He's just looking around like that. Yeah, that's good. Change leg. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those directors in the middle. Just like I'm teaching my son. <laughs> hmm. Dig her up so fast and I'm talking to her for you. <laughs> Good. Okay. Let's try Kanta and see how that goes because that's kind of when they get a bit more excited. And I need you every break. Yeah. We have company. Mm. Ooh. Okay. I don't want to go too far down. <laughs> You're so chill, though. I think it's always just asking to get him where you want him to be and then you do. Yeah. He enjoys it. <laughs> and now hold. Oh, I think we can take it off now. Try the other side so he's used to it all. I will remember next time we are going to shoot. I will remember next time when we are going to shoot in the forest. Just take it off. Just do it. It looks good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, over the beach with us. <laughs> uh huh. Mm hmm. <laughs> nee, it's not for second. Though. <laughs> I wonder if you feel a difference if you use the leather in your hand. It was really good, actually. He's really good. Oh. Oh, good boy. Pretty okay, boy. Responding well. Are you 100% sure? Well, sometimes you just gotta jump the gun and do it. What? Sometimes you just have to like jump the gun and do it. Yeah, but well, do you feel good about it? Because yeah, I, I think so. the, the most important thing is when it feels right. Yeah, and I'm surrounded by people that are knowledgeable. The arena is closed, so we try. Let's see how it goes. Some horses just react really different because they have no bright one. Yeah. But, but with him, it's just, it's not that it's a stallion, so. Yeah, or five years old, but. <laughs> no, he'll be okay. He's responding really well so far. The first thing I want to have is a stop, uh, which we have, and then I want to be able to turn, which we have. So if your horse doesn't respond so quickly, make sure you have those two things and assist them with the bridle before you take everything off. We will, we will see. Should I do an evil laugh? <laughs> He's enjoying this too much. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Really? Yeah. Worst comes to worst, I throw myself off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. no. I can always jump in front of him with candy. No, don't <laughs> do that again. <laughs> that once with Andorra and I found so we're not doing <laughs> He that. fell off Andorra. <laughs> He looks chilled. Sorry. Uh, no. Let's just start alone because with stallions, sometimes when they have something close to them, the attention really goes to that. So I'm just going to walk him and do like I've been doing. And we'll, we'll see how that goes. It's happening. I'm behind the camera again. But that wasn't what I meant. It's happening. First of all, it's really important if you want to ride without a bridle that you have trained well enough. But second of all, I think it's also really impressive that he does it. I mean, first of all, stallion, young horse. Never done something like this. But it looks good. Yeah, so far 
and he feels comfortable and like chill, which is good. Now I have a pure ego, you never feel like I can really go to a trading show. <laughs> you don't want treats? But I mean, you're riding with your seat so much, so. Yeah, I mean, my legs a lot, so I really, if I turn my shoulders, so like, I'm not really doing much with the rope, but if I turn my shoulders, he already kind of takes the corner. Yeah, I'm not really doing much with the rope, but if I turn my shoulders, he already kind of takes the <laughs> How does he feel? He feels chill, but he's, you know, when you ride, usually they don't look around so much because they're in the contact with the job, and now he's more just like looking at everything. And I think for the first time that's really fine, no? Huh? That's really not a problem for the first time. Yeah, but I mean, you can also ruin it really easily. So you've also done really well. Looks really good. And if you do want it more connected in a small circle, you can start. I don't think that's the goal for now. But at one point it will. Oh okay, good, there we go. Alright. Okay, we're off. Why not? I don't know, watching this way must go to do it. Really good. He's almost more chilled. <laughs> Yay. So, I'll just like it's nothing. <laughs> oh, very. <clears throat> okay. Why not? You already have more break than I do. Oh, his face. And this is the point where he gets overexcited and I'm all about it. Yeah, so of course. All right, enough, it went well. <laughs> Do you have to use it a lot or barely? What, sorry? Are you using it a lot or barely? No, but I can do almost everything with my horse. That's fine. As long as I can get it back from a pants, I just use my horse. Well, you need to have your hands on your legs then. Okay, put your hands on your legs. <laughs> Almost. Stag in the leg. Ah! Ah! Left right, left right. He looked me straight in the eye. But he wanted to come to you. Yeah, I'm sure.
Okay, so I am really proud of you too. I think you did really, really well. Thanks. And it's really impressive and it looks really cool. He's listening. He's like, oh my god, really? Yes, a dread saying that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, good boy. Okay. Let did you just, enjoy it? Let me just talk about how that went. Oh. It was really good. He was so sweet. And uh, he tried really hard and he listened really well. I, I really had a feeling, because I know him so well now, that it would be okay. And I think that's the kind of feeling you need to search for. Um, and I only took the bridle off once I felt comfortable. I think I warmed him up for what, 25, 30 minutes maybe? Yeah, but yeah. And then I felt comfortable that, okay, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it now with the, with the neck rope, it feels good. Make sure you have a quality product, like for example, the Nalanta neck rope is the only neck rope I use because I cannot afford for something like this to break. It is so important, even when you, a lot of people use lead ropes and they make knots or they use some pieces of rope. You know, if your horse gets scared and you're pulling on this hard to stop them to anything, if that breaks, you're in real trouble. Make sure you invest in something that you can trust your life on. And this is something I definitely do. I have to give a big thank you to Emporio because even though this is a journey we're sharing together um, and the training has helped him a lot get here, his character to begin with is just so amazing, uh, which is one of the many reasons why I have fallen in love with the Pierre breed. And you can see he's just like a dog. He just wants love and attention. He wants to make people happy. And that's what he continues to do every single day. So yeah, a little bit of happiness during these dark uh, times. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. There will be more constant videos, but as I said, being very sensitive to this time because there's things that matter a little bit more than creating content right now. Um, and that's what we need to focus on. So thank you very much all for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.